Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial on how to create an audio reaction using Adobe After Effects. We are going to be doing a full tutorial. It's going to show you the basics on how to get an audio reaction with zero plugins. And then at the end I'm going to show you just a couple of plugins what I use to add certain effects to the composition. So without further ado, this is what we're going to be basically creating. So, we're going to go to a new composition. In fact, the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this project here, this composition. So, I don't need the solids, delete. I don't need the composition, delete. The only things that I need is the song and the logo in my um, project area, yeah? So, if you haven't got these, well, you will have them because I will upload them. But just drag them from your desktop into here. Okay? So your logo and your song. If you really need to know how we do that, you just... There's your logo and your song. You just drag them into photo, um, After Effects like that. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag the song... No, composition, sorry. And go to new. New composition. Um, 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 FPS, I leave mine at 10 minutes, I always do, and everything else is fine. We'll call this audio reaction. Okay, then we're going to drag the song into this area, save your music file, and then we're going to trim the composition to the length of the song. If you want to do that like snap it just make sure you hold shift when you pull it and it will snap to the area okay then we can right click on this gray area in between the two points and click trim comp to work area okay next thing that we want to do is we want to go new so right click new solid and we're going to call this audio spectrum And over here in the effects and presets, bearing in mind I'm using the default view. So if you're not seeing the default, I believe you go to Window Workspace. Default or animation. I believe I was on default, but now it's gone to animation. So animation is good if you want to match mine, I suppose. And then inside here we're going to type audio spectrum and you're going to drag the audio spectrum over to your audio spectrum layer okay i'm going to rename this also sorry let me just close that oh my god rename i'm going to rename this to bass because i only want this to be affecting the bass so as you can see it's here it's not doing anything right now if we play that let me just turn the cache off We've got music, but we've got no audio reaction. That's because nothing's been selected in here. So the way we do this is we go to the audio layer and we're going to change that to song. And immediately you'll see an effect. So now if we was to play, as you can see, let's go in a bit so we can, so we can see that it's actually reacting to the audio is what we want so now we need to make some changes to this first things that we want to do is we want to put two more layers on this or two more effects so we're going to go back over to where it says effects and presets and we're going to type in polar coordinates or just co and you should see polar coordinates we're going to drag that to the base layer and we're going to come back here and we're going to type in mirror And we're going to drag that to the same layer. Perfect. So, what we need to do in these is first, don't worry about these two at the bottom for a second. We're just going to deal with this one. We're going to change the start point 
to zero that will drag it to the edge and then we want it to be centered here so the center between these two points is 960 so the end point is going to be 960 so that's just shortened our um, our area should I say our start and end points okay the next thing we want to do is in polar coordinates we want to change the interpolation to 100 and then you want to change the polar to react to react to polar yeah and now we've got as you can see like a semicircle and then we want to mirror this so the mirror is going to start at 960 now we are a perfect mirrored So these two here you can close down now. Those two collapse them. Or uncollapse them should I say. We don't need to worry about that anymore. We have the basics. So this is good. Now we need to make some changes in here. You don't have to do everything exactly like me. I mean if you find something else that's different. So I want to leave the start frequency on 20. I want to change the end frequency to 120. I want to change the frequency bands to 1500. I want to change the maximum height to 1000 and these are fine I believe thickness is 2.5 2.5 softness is fine colors I changed them to white for this layer um, we're going to change the side to side B and I believe that is about it is all we have on this layer so far okay the next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer so we're gonna go control D and we're gonna add that one and we're gonna rename this one to well you don't have to rename it to I'm going to rename it to mids and mids we're going to make some adjustments so first thing I want to do oh, sorry get rid of that what am I doing change that back to white really quick okay so everything should be the same pretty much we're going to change the start frequency to 1000 and we're going to change the end frequency to 1500 and we're going to change the frequency bands to 200 and we're going to change the maximum height to 10,000 and then we're going to change the thickness to 1.5 let me just have a look at this Also, uh, is this full? Doesn't look like it's full because we're not looking at the right thing. There we go. Okay, so next we're going to be changing the colors for me anyway. I want like an orangey kind of color. Like that. And for this one, I want a bit more. Basically, I want a similar kind of thing, a little bit darker. Or do I? No, no, no. I want that one there, and then I want this one to be a bit darker. Something like that. Okay. That one's done. Sorry, keep that there. Let me just enable both of them. 
sure the base is going to be on top like that so we're going to control D on the mids I'm going to disable that and disable that this one I'm going to rename to dots okay and for this one we're going to change the start frequency to 1100 the end frequency to 1400 the frequency buttons is going to be changed to 1500 the maximum height is going to be changed to 15,000 and then we're going to change the color to like a red both of them here yeah. and then we're going to change the, the display options to analog dots enable these layers so I can just see I believe this one wants to be at the bottom okay so far so good all right now we want to put our logo in here as well so let me just get our logo drag that into the um, composition and I'm gonna make it about the same I, w I want it to fit in perfect like that I believe the logo wants to be at the top that way none of this stuff should overlap as we can see the logo needs a little bit of adjusting there let's test it that looks good all right so the new next thing we want to do at this point is we want to go new solid we're going to call this BG for background we're going to drag it to the bottom well you can put it to the top at the moment in fact keep it at the top for the moment because I want to um, change some things on it and we're going to change this to uh, type in here ramp gradient ramp bring this over okay and for the ramp we want our start of the ramp we, well first we want to change it to a radial ramp I believe that this should be 960 by like about 535. Yep, that's good. So it's in the middle. And then it should be minus 80. We're around there like that. Just I want to change it to kind of like a. somewhere around there and then this I want to change to black like so I have to mess with these colors a little bit a little bit darker I think maybe let me just um, so now we can pull this to the bottom the logo should be at the top Base mid dot sound that should be right. Mm. Make this a little bit brighter. Somewhere about there, maybe, maybe here. I don't know. I'm gonna lie, I don't really um I 
that would be pretty cool if we could change this uh color like that we can probably do that anyway another tutorial i'll do that i just never really thought about that until now and i'm gonna put it about there and i think i'm gonna pull this in a little bit just make it a bit darker not too dark i don't know what's going on there So have a look at that. So I want to keep all the layers together and I want to test it. See, because these don't, we don't want them overpowering. This is why you have to try and make it a bit darker. Like that maybe. I don't know. You got to play with it as well. That looks alright. So I'm just going to give a quick render of that these won't actually look like that on full if you look on full it will look full so if we like maybe we should cache some of this So if you look at that now, this is at full. No way, it's not playing. And us guys, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's because we've still got cash to play it now. What? I don't know what's going on there. I've never seen that before. Oh, because somehow we um, disabled the fucking... Um, So that's that's the default tutorial on um how to do it i mean obviously you know when it comes to rendering that out you're just gonna render it out as you would whether you're gonna use um after effects or M media encoder i normally use media en encoder because after effects doesn't really show many options these days for rendering out which i find is a bit fucking weird but um yeah so media encoder you can get more options for rendering out and i find it to be a bit faster to be fair even though i would say that this program is not the best use for using your cores a lot some people that i've um, spoke to have told me that i should use premiere so that i should um, save this in a way that it can interact with premiere pro i think you save it as like a fucking premiere project file or some shit i don't know let's have a look save as I think it's that one after effects template project and somehow I don't use Premiere Pro anyway so it doesn't really matter but yeah just if you haven't use um, Adobe Media Controller so this is the default version without any um, plugins you can do this completely with just the default version of um, after effects so plugin wise there's only a couple of things really that I wanted to show you to get these um, really going. So for instance, if we go to the base layer again, and then this time we're gonna type in ear shine, and you're gonna get RG trap code shine. I will upload this plugin. And we're gonna drag this to our base layer. Okay, so. What I would like to change is the ray length. I'd change it to one. 
I want to also, what do you call it, show you this so you can see it, so you can see what's going on up there. So, no shine, shine. Yeah. And that is all I will change on this. That's fine, on that layer there. I'm not going to make any more changes to that layer. That layer's fine. Okay, for the next layer, the mids, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to drag your shine layer onto your mids. This time I'm going to get rid of the base so I can just see the mids. I'm also going to go in a little bit so I can see the mid area, the mids there. And for the shine, we're going to go, because we can see it a little bit, so we're leaving it on 4. We're going to boost the light to 5. Let me just um, disable this so I can see. Sometimes one, four, I boost the light to five apparently. Maybe our colors are just not one hundred percent. I think that's what it is. If these aren't one hundred percent. Sometimes it, what you call it, doesn't react correctly. It's there, you can see it a little bit, but it's not good enough. Let me just change this. See what we need to change. Colorize. I'm going to change the colorize to. Harvest if it's on there. Mm -mm. Yeah, we can see it, but very small, very vague. Maybe we should change the the light boost a bit. Change it to sixty, and then put the background on. That's better. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, if you can't see it, because obviously different backgrounds affect the shine. So that's good. And I don't think the final layer has got a shine to it, to be fair. It hasn't, but it has got a glow. And that is why we missed that on, um, what we missed on this one as well, on the mids, I believe. I believe we missed the glow. So if we want, you could just over enable the mids. And we're going to go over to here, pull the shine down onto your dots as well. Pull the shine onto your dots as well because we are going to use it on the dots. But on this, one, well, no, we're not. We're not going to use the shine on the dots, sorry. We'll just, so over here, I'm going to type glow. Come on, man. It's going to be stylized glow. Yeah, pull that onto your mids. There we go. So now if I change that back to five, yes, that's how it should be. And the same with the dots. So we're gonna change the dots, stylize glow, and we're gonna change the dots, I believe. I can't really change anything really on here. Let's have a look. I think that's good. Yeah, so if we enable all of these layers, there you go. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to render it in full because obviously.
don't like it. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, just play with the settings. I will upload all the files, you know. I will upload the entire trap code suite so you can mess around with it. I mean, the next time we can have a look at sound keys. And that's so you can make all of the layers interact with the audio. You can make the, you know, the the logo, for instance. So if you, if you want to make it do shit like that, look like, doo, 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 you know, you can make it do that. That's around. But yeah, we'll do that next time. So yeah, enjoy. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, give me a like, subscribe, comment, give me a link to any projects that you make. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you very much for watching.